Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So this time we have a video from input to output series. So as always we have one input and we have to generate this output using data view 2. So let me explain what is the input requirement we have. So input requirement is that we have an input as an object. As you can see that this is the object and it having a two key pairs. Um, key 1 and value, key 2 and value. So let me explain what is the value. So in, as you can see that in the value we have a spaces at start space at middle and multiple spaces at end for the value one and value two we have seen that there is only space at middle and uh, space at last so the requirement is to delete these spaces from last only not from middle not from start the requirement is to remove these spaces from last and as you can see that at last of this string we can have one space or we can have many spaces so requirement is to delete the all spaces whether it is coming one or not coming or coming as one or multiple spaces coming so we have to remove the all spaces which is coming at last of the string okay so that's how we are going to uh, that's how we have got requirement and how exactly we are going to do that so let me explain you that so first i have copied the input and let me paste here so this is my input and as you can see that this is uh, generating this is basically generating without doing anything so let me apply map object so why i apply i i apply map object because i know that my input is object so that's why i, I applied map object and i also need to generate object as well so that's why i applied map object so map object inputs is always object and output is always object and input requirement as you can see that we have an input and output is also is object okay so when uh, how exactly uh, we are going to do that so there are basically step by step so we are going to process that but hard normally what basically logic is coming in our mind is that like let me explain you replace a space with empty so normally we are doing this but as you can see that it removed the all spaces from this string but what is the requirement the requirement is to remove the last space so this basically values replace a space with the empty is not going to work and uh, so this is not going to work so let me apply last sol uh, another solution so when we do value minus one so it is giving the giving us last character of any particular string when we do minus one so if uh, we are checking if last character is a space then last character is a space then uh, give empty otherwise else as it is consider as it is okay so let me consider as it is so as you can see that last is giving like empty so last we are checking it is a space then removed otherwise consider as it is so this is the basically last one and let me doing plus plus value from 0 to minus 2 and doing plus plus so as you can see that in this requirement we remove the space from the string 2 but the all space is not removed from the string 1 itself so this is solution is also not going to work okay so we have to apply a dynamic solution where one space come or multiple space come or let me consider let me consider key three as well if no space come then our solution would work let me like uh, pimpery pimpery okay so as you can see that the multiple space would come or one space will come so it will or no space will come so it will always focus on the string last spaces that's how we have to generate a solution so as of now our both solution is not worked so we have to think in another way logically or dynamically then our solution is going to work uh, so hey guys i'm going to do with this using recursive function and how i'm going to do that so let me explain you that okay so i am going to create one function called remove space function remove space function it is taking a string str str data and as of now we are returning str data as it is so this is our function so let me call this function as of now uh, let me call this function as of now str data uh, let me call this function and pass the value so as you can see that i did nothing i just create a one function with one argument so whatever argument value is coming i'm just replying the same and here i'm calling a function so here i'm going to apply our basically i'm going to do a logic where we are going to remove multiple spaces and this function i'm going to create a recursive way let me let me show you how so basically uh 
when I pass the string, I'm going to check last space, uh, basically last uh, last character. What is what value we have in the last character? So minus one help me that what we have in last. If it is equal to equal to space, then condition true. Okay, so as you can see that the condition true. So if this condition is true, then I am going to pass. I'm going to call this function again, but I am going to pass. I am going to remove the last character. So how to remove last character zero to minus two? I've considered. I have just called the same function and pass this value. And in this, instead of sending the whole string, I am sending uh, from zero to minus two. I am just removing the last character because I know that last we have a space. Okay, so when I call this, I will uh, calling the function again. So as you can see that every if having else part. So let me consider else as the simple data. Okay, so let me check what error we have. Str data remove else. Mm, it's not date. It's a data. Uh, it's a data. Okay, so as you can see that. Uh, I have got the response as you can see that in the hello world, it's only removed the last multiple spaces. So as you can see that we have got, we have a space at start and middle, which, which is a part of requirement. We have to remove only last spaces. In that case, also the last space is also removed. In case of hello pimpery, there is no space at last. So it, it, it considered as it is. So that's how we did this requirement using recursive function. Let me explain again how exactly I did this requirement in the recursive function. So I have called our one function remove a space and I have passed the value, whatever value. So first time it is passing this value. When we passing this value, we are checking the last one. If it is the last one is a space, then I'm calling a recursive function again. But in this, instead of passing the same value, I'm passing, I'm basically excluding the last one and passing a zero hyphen two. Okay. If it is not, if it is the last character is, I am doing this recursive function until I'm getting a character. Uh, until I'm getting a character here or until I'm getting not a space at the last then I'm considered that data so when first time we are passing this then second time we are passing this third time we are passing this fourth time we are passing this six time we are passing this seven time we are passing this eight time when I pass this so I'm getting the last if it is not a space then exit condition for recursive function so it is very important that the exist exist basically exit condition is important if you're not doing any exit condition then you will get stack overflow error because this last statement is basically stored in the stack and when the next exit condition happen then our basically our program will execute the all stacks uh, operation so that's why we are getting this one so this is uh, I have done from my side. This is all about uh, basically this input to output series to remove the space from last. We will meet soon in the next video. Bye.